Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing our series of videos with respect to inspiration, information, education, guidance, advice. And I, I made mention in a previous video uh, with respect to um, uh, Reb Moshe Lieb's uh, wife, the Rebetzin, uh, the Rebbe of Sasso's wife, the Rebetzin of Sasso, scolding a person for doing something, for saying something improper, saying that God was cruel. Um, and I'm reminded um, of a conversation I had last summer with a very perceptive young lady. And this very perceptive young lady came to me with a problem. She had a friend, a couple of friends, who were doing something um, improper. And her temptation was to scold them and yell at them and tell them not to do this and you know, why are you acting like this, you're, you're behaving badly. But she was mindful of the fact that that's probably not the best way to go about it. So she came to me and said, when I wish to correct someone who I see is being improper, doing something improper, what pattern should I use? And what patterns and methods should I avoid? And I could think of no better lesson than that that was given by the Vilna Gaon uh, many, many years ago. And I want to read it because I want to get it exactly right. There are two basic approaches that are possible to take when you see someone doing something wrong. One is to speak harshly to the person and tell him that he is doing wrong. But this approach does not tell people how they should behave and how they can correct what they did wrong. This is like stabbing someone with a sword. It's not a healing approach. The approach of the wise is to show people how they can correct what they did wrong. This is a healing approach, and the only words that are said are those conducive to healing. And it was uh, Rabbi uh, Zelig Pliskin who said that these statements by the Vilna Gaon should be reviewed at least 101 times. Parents, educators, friends, anyone who feels the need uh, to suggest that someone change in some way, um, they have a crucial need to master this approach. Um, it's important to remember. Um, tell it to others. Um, this same very perceptive young lady was very perceptive enough to see others um, rebuking, scolding, um, yelling at others for things they're doing wrong. And uh, she realized that in some cases, in too many cases, the person doing the scolding seemed to be getting a certain amount of pleasure out of it. Rebuking someone should not be a source of pleasure. You're not supposed to get off on, on yelling at someone and saying that they're wrong. It's something you, you do re regretfully. You do remorsefully. You just like you, you do it because they have to. You're, you're, you're trying, to, trying to warn someone. You're trying to you know, prevent a lifna ever, a stumbling block for the blind. You do it out of love. And if you do it out of love, a love of a fellow man, a hobbist soil, a love of a Jew, uh, a love of a, uh, another person, you do it because you have to. Not because you want to, and not because, chas v'shalom, God forbid, you derive any pleasure from it. Listen to the wise words of the Vilna Gaon on how properly to rebuke someone, how properly to correct someone. Uh, you don't humiliate them, you, you don't insult them, you don't make them feel bad, you give them a reason uh, and a methodology to improve themselves, themselves. And you're helping someone uh, take a step up, and that's a great thing. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch, please learn, and until next time, on behalf of the Amona Project, I'm Danielle, and thank you so much.